Welcome everyone. Today's lesson, we're going to take a look at 10 frames and the problem we're going to look at today is 9 plus 2 and we are going to use two 10 frames. Um, the one on the top is going to represent the 9. The one on the bottom we're going to use to represent the number 2. We're also going to be using counters. The red counters are for the number 9 and the purple counters are for the number 2. And remember, our what we're trying to do is we're trying to learn how to make 10 to make it easier to do the problems. So we're starting with 9 plus 2, and we want to find out what does 9 plus 2 equal. So let's move the counters onto the 10 frames. So we'll start with the red counters, and let's start adding them. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so there's 9 red counters for the number 9. Now let's take a look at the purple counters. So let's add the purple counters to the second 10 frame. 1, 2, so that's 2 to represent the number 2. So now what are we going to do? We're going to make 10. So let's look at the top 10 frame. We have nine counters there. Now, how many more do we need to make 10? Well, we have one more available, one more slot. So where are we gonna get that counter from? Well, we're going to take one of the counters from the number two. So let's grab one of the purple counters and let's move that up here. So now, how many do we have? Now we have 10. Wonderful, so we made 10. Now, how many are down here on the bottom frame? One, well, that's easy. Now we know 10 plus one. Well, 10 plus one is 11. So that means the answer to our problem, nine plus two is 11. Nine plus two equals 11. We were able to make 10 by taking the nine and adding one to give it 10. And that left us with just one from the number two. So we had 10 plus one equals 11. So now let's review this again. Okay, everyone, let's review what we just learned. So we started with the problem nine plus two, and we were trying to figure out the answer. And one way to figure out the answer is to make 10. We have two 10 frames over here. The first one represented the number nine. That's this part here. The second one represented the number two. And we're trying to get to 10. So let's take a look at the number nine 10 frame. Do we have any more space on the 10 frame to make 10? And we do. We have one empty square on this 10 frame. So what we can do is down here where we have the two, we can take one of those purple counters and we can move it to the number nine. Now this gives us 10. So now we have 10. So I'm gonna cross this one out because that's no longer on here. We now have it here. So we have 10 plus, one, because we only have one counter left now on the second 10 frame. So 10 plus one. Well, 10 plus one, that's equal to 11. So nine plus two is equal to 11 because we were able to make 10 and then have one left over and that gave us 11. So nine plus two is equal to 11 and 10 plus one is equal to 11. Now, because of the commutative properties of addition, if nine plus two is equal to 11, we can switch these two numbers around and still get 11. So if nine plus two equals 11, then two plus nine equals 11. And the same for down here. If 10 plus one is equal to 11, because of the commutative properties of addition, 
we can switch these two numbers around and still get the same answer. So 10 plus 1 equals 11 means 1 plus 10 equals 11. So look at that. We got to learn four new math facts. So the first one we started with was the 9 plus 2, trying to figure out the answer. 9 plus 2, we changed to 2 plus, to 10 plus, sorry, to 10 plus 1, and that gave us 11, which means 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. And because of the commutative properties of addition, if 9 plus 2 equals 11, then 2 plus 9 equals 11, and 1 plus 10 equals 11. Thank you so much for watching Lesson 2. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to know when Lesson 3 comes out. Also, please, please feel free to ask any questions in the comment section.